Sailors find seal on floating iceberg, pull it up and realize mistake. He called back out to his brother but he heard no reply. He had left the safety of the boat to get a closer look at the animal. It definitely wasn't a seal, like they first thought. Whatever it was, he knew it had claws and sharp teeth, he just hoped his brother wouldn't have to pay dearly for trying to help it. But when he saw him come back to the boat with the animal in his arms, he couldn't believe what it actually was. Mallory Harrigan, Cliff Russell, and Alan Russell got aboard the Northern Swan once chilly morning in Labrador, Canada to see what today's catch would be. Cliff and Alan are brothers and share a close bond because of their common trade, fishing. They were fishermen and along with their friend Mallory they were the crew of the Northern Swan. But they didn't know what the morning had in store for them. Cliff and Alan grew up in Newfoundland, Canada, and always felt drawn to the ocean. They grew up watching their father ice fish and later started fishing as soon as they could hold a rod. It was this small thing that made the two want to get into fishing. But they had no idea where their passion would lead them. The two never lost this passion as they grew up and kept fishing together with their father. They eventually managed to save up enough money to buy a boat that they named the Northern Swan. They then got their best friend Mallory involved to get into the business too. After all they needed a third set of hands. But one day things would change. Fast forward to one cold winter day and the three of them are out on the ocean trawling for fish. It's a day just like any other, they had gone through hundreds of days like this by now. But if only the three knew what they would be face to face with by the end of their trip. Even though they were working the men were happy to sit out on the open seas. They had wanted to do it ever since they were kids and now that they finally achieved their goals they felt like they were on top of the world. They also thought nothing could damper their days. But they were wrong. Alan always snuck a few beers on the boat, after all, he was the younger brother of the two and always liked to take the edge off. Cliff didn't think one or two beers would hurt so he'd normally join in once he saw what his brother had brought. Even Mallory didn't mind, it'd make for a pleasant day on the quiet ocean, having a few drinks and a few laughs. But they would soon stumble onto something that was no laughing matter. Alan, Cliff, and Mallory were enjoying their day out on the lake, it was an easy job so it didn't require too much attention. But then Mallory spotted something in the distance. It was an iceberg. But there was more it than that. There was what looked like a seal on the iceberg. And it was stranded. But if only she knew that it wasn't actually a seal at all. The three of them took the boat closer to the iceberg to investigate. They had all seen videos of seals being trapped on icebergs by orcas. If that was the case they would have to take action. But what they would end up finding would send shivers down their spines. The iceberg was now close, they could clearly tell that something was stuck on the ice, but what was it? What they had thought was just an innocent seal clearly wasn't anymore. It had sharp claws, sharp teeth, and seemed like it could be very dangerous. They felt like maybe they had to be the ones that had to be rescued. It was something out of this world, its fur was matted and wet, and it started growling as they got close. What started as kindness now ended in fear. Had they made a grave mistake? Before they could help it they had to know what it was, so Alan climbed onto the ice to get even closer. His brother would be begging for him to come back, but he knew he had to help whatever it was. But he should have known better. Alan left the boat into the mist and didn't immediately. Mallory and Cliff feared the worst. Had he found out what it was? Had it cost him dearly? Whatever it was, he knew it had claws and sharp teeth, he just hoped his brother wouldn't have to pay dearly for trying to help it. But when he saw him come back to the boat with the animal in his arms, he couldn't believe what it actually was. An arctic fox. The poor fox immediately curled into a ball in the corner of the boat once Alan got aboard. They fed the poor animal crackers which it immediately wolfed down. They marveled at the animal, to think that they were scared of it a few moments ago. But they had good reason, arctic foxes can be dangerous when frightened. But thankfully it ended well. Once the crew got back to the shore Alan set up a bed of sawdust for the fox, once we got him in his makeshift bed he fell fast asleep. They were worried for the fox's safety still as they didn't know if it would survive. The icy waters can be harsh and for a mammal like a fox that isn't designed to swim in the water, they can catch their death in the icy water. Alan was just happy that they had decided to help the fox after all. A few hours and the fox would have drifted further out to sea where they wouldn't have seen it. The fox never wanted to leave humans after it was saved so it now lives on an island where dogs for dogs letting used to be. It has fully recuperated and is as happy as ever. <laughs>